Sounds like Pep has some concerns there. Are you buying it? Well, looking at that, um, looking at that series, you, you can understand if, if City are a, a little bit disappointing against Liverpool and, and, and the history reflects as much. I, I think you're right to, to be mindful of that. You're right to be mindful of the community shooting result. But fact remains, that's Pep's job to be mindful. Mm. That's Pep's job to think about what could go wrong. What is, how can we best cope with, with, with Liverpool? For, for those of us on the outside, we just see this well-oiled machine in, in, in City blowing everybody aside as, as they have been and Liverpool continuing to, to struggle. And, and you just can't see how, how the two live up to each other. My concern overall with Liverpool is that this is a team that when they have been truly successful at Anfield, they depend on energy, mm. on intensity. You spoke of that midfield. There isn't enough intensity and energy to cover the ground defensively against a Manchester City team that can move the ball and continue to move the ball. Usually, when they had that intensity, when they had that energy, when they had that confidence, they would trouble and they would hurry up Manchester City into mistakes. I don't see that happening in this particular case because one of the questions that Jurgen Klopp is going to have to answer, okay, if I play Thiago Alcantara because I want his possession of the ball, I am going to suffer in terms of what I do defensively. This is not a guy that wants to be chasing around. And this is a game in which you will have to chase around because of the nature of who Manchester City are. So, to deny that service to Erling Haaland, you have to be able to dominate defensively through the midfield, and they just don't quite have the personnel, the energy, nor the intensity to do it. And I think the big miss of Luis Diaz, who's injured, the fact that he's not available also hurts them in terms of what they can do in transition. And also, they do not have the same sort of intensity that he brings. He, there, there, is, there is something about his game that is, you cannot predict, you cannot quite figure out what is it that he's going to do. And it's a lot of what that energy and intensity and Anfield produces for Liverpool. Him not being available is a big miss for Liverpool. All right, enough analysis. Let's get some predictions. Oh, okay, all right, let's thanks. Get, let's, thanks, Let's Seth. get some predictions. Let's see what you guys are really You're done, think. you're done with us. Uh, it's going to happen in this game. Now, Shaka, you were very confident in City. You said 3-0 yesterday. <laughs> Ale, you're going City, but not quite as confident. You see a 2-1 win? Oh, well, because I, I think there is intensity and energy <laughs> enough to make it close and complicated, but in the end, Manchester City takes over. All right. Uh, Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.